how did I get here? Started uh, close to 11:30 tonight. It is 4,100 acres burned. Probably more than that at this point. That was the last update we had at 8 o'clock tonight. It's been burning from Fallbrook to Oceanside. Zero percent containment. Katie and I are currently at Subway, guys. <laughs> Cucumber and then pickles and olives. Okay. And then mayo. And is that for you or to go? Uh, that's to go. Thank you. Okay guys, so uh, currently in our PJs, we had to make a stop because, you know, I'm the type of person that loses things. I need earrings, because all my ears will close up then. So I need to get six different uh, earrings. All right guys, mission accomplished, I got earrings. Woo! Hey, do you want to say hi to my friend? <laughs> From here. Can you? Oh yeah, you my. Can. Like, no, no, go, go forward and then. You gotta go forward. Go up on the hill. See, like the. Oh. The oh my gosh. Okay, guys, update. So, uh, Katie and I are looking at the fire right now, and I'll show you guys. This is what it looks like. Isn't that insane? Can you see it? Mm hmm. But we're gonna actually. All right guys, so I decided to do a voiceover here just because I was playing music in the car and at this point we were just driving by and I was filming it and then we ended up on a mountain later on in the day looking at it. It didn't seem as serious or that it was going to come that close so I want to just like make, keep that in mind when you're looking at these clips. Like we did not think it was going to go over um, the 76 which is what separated the fire originally from where she lives and everything and so I went on this trip with my friend because this is where she's from, and we had just finished finals for college, so we were coming here, and then you can see they're, like, doing, I think it's, like, the retardant or something, um, just to get the fire down, and then you can see right here, this is when it started really worrying us, because it had jumped from the, across the 76, and so that's when we realized how close it was, as you guys can tell, like, this is about how far it is from her place, if you guys are wondering and then it kept creeping closer and that's when we realized like we needed to get out of here okay so let's do a little bit of an update katie tell them what's going on so right now the fire has jumped over the 76 mm -hmm. and it's in and she lives Albrook. over the 76 i live in oceanside mm -hmm. and like the fire is coming that the wind hasn't changed and it's coming towards my house mm -hmm. so we're gonna go home and pack up and get ready to evacuate. We're not gonna evacuate just yet, but since it's jumping so much, be ready. We're gonna be ready. The thing is, it's really sad because I don't know, you guys probably already know this. I've actually really never talked about it on my channel just because like it's something that I don't like put on my channel. Um, but my house did burn down. So like when I see that like people's houses are burning down right now and they said that 20 structures have been so far. 20 structures have been burned down. It uh, broke out on Reggie on the side. Not Reggie, it broke out. She's watching it. Yeah. The 76. Mm -hmm. So like there's a lot of houses on the 76 and it mm -hmm. just got, some some houses just got caught off of it on yeah. like 76 and Fallbrook. So that means it's time for me to go home. Yeah, so. I don't think it'll get this bad. I'm hopeful it's not gonna get this far. You guys saw originally, you're fine. You guys saw originally how it was like over there and now it's here, but jumped the 76, that's crazy. Languages of the individuals that they provide services to and then okay, distributing that back Thank you, my love. How do you feel, Katie? Yeah, how do you feel? <laughs> so, a little bit of an update. What kind of call did we just get? We got an evacuation call. Mandatory evacuation. So uh, we got Danny, and you guys know Danny. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know. Danny's here. That's Katie's boyfriend. All right, guys, a little bit of an update. We're having So the uh, lights went out. Yeah. So we're using the flashlight on my phone. All right, guys, so... Uh, Katie and I are walking down to Danny's car. Guys, we gotta go! Alright, come on. You don't need anything else? No, come on, Danny. Shit, where's our turtle? You guys have a turtle? 
Oh, oh no. This is where cardio comes in handy. Should I do this one? <coughs> Let me see. It's time to go. Oh, he's hibernating right okay. now. Okay. Can you close this door, please? Yes. It actually looks like it's gonna fit better. It's becoming really smoky. Right? It is? Yeah, I can't help them. Oh, yeah. And then, okay, guys, look at You can see there's police that are right over there telling people they need to evacuate. So, yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty scary. <coughs> All right guys, so a little bit of an update. Don't really know everything that's going on, but I'm gonna show you guys. Everything's getting packed away into their stuff. They have like a ton of cars, but like this is my best friend's house and then her boyfriend's house is actually currently like kind of engulfed in flames. We're not really sure what's going on with that, so yeah. Okay guys, a little bit of an update. Um, we're still waiting to go and I'm getting really scared now. And this is what the fire looks like. It's really close. So, I'm really scared. <laughs> okay guys, so there's a lot of stuff and I've been crying a lot. And Danny, which is Katie's boyfriend, they have to open up the gate, but you can see the fires. There's one right over there, straight in front. And yeah, it's just, it's not good. I'm trying to call my mom, but my calls even won't go through. I look kind of like a wreck. I put my new earrings in though. I know, but that's horrible. Is that lilac? No, that's uh, nearby. Much closer. No, not that close. Why am I still Let's update right now. All my calls are getting dropped. Like, I can't even get a call to go through. My phone's not working for data, really. Like, it was working earlier. But I think right now, because the power is out, like, it maybe is affecting that and people are all using their phones. So. What's it called? Conditions for this to happen. Mm. We just pulled over. And uh, Katie's dad said that he got some hotel rooms. Okay guys, so we are currently being the ones that are navigating now. Um, there's a lot of traffic, you guys, like so much uh, to get out. You guys can see right here, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's red um, just cause of traffic. And it's a 46 minute drive. So at least we're getting out of here. Okay guys, so a little bit of an update. You can't see the police, but there is one that's like right behind there. Not really sure what else is going on, but this is where we're going right now. Because I'm, I'm gonna be like posting this video after I'm there so no one can like stalk me, but yeah. So, you can see. There's Danny. There's the mom behind us. Um, I think, yeah, Katie and like the rest of the family are behind us too. Okay, guys, so we are currently on the freeway. Um, Danny's here. We're driving. Uh, we have a little bit of the window open, <coughs> but it's definitely like you can definitely tell there was a fire and you can smell it. Whew. This has been one hell of a ride. Arrived. Update, so the fire is over 4,000 acres right now. It is changing directions more into the Fallbrook part and not more Oceanside. Because they're more in Oceanside. Yeah, but it still sucks because that means the whole town's there. And so our whole town might be. But we don't know yet. How are your parents and stuff? We talked to his mom and his dad while we were in the car. Where are they? <coughs> Where are they? Where they been the my grandma but this is my current get up you guys i honestly threw the dad's jacket on a while ago didn't think i thought i was gonna take it off and then like all of this happened very quickly and in a rush and i haven't had time to think so yeah 
Okay guys, so a little bit of a hotel room tour. Has the kitchenette area. Bon apple tea. Then this is what they gave us. Some snacks, you can eat them. So there's this outer area that you guys can see first. Looks like this. Probably a balcony too, kitchenette. Then you go over here and um, there's a nice big bed, TV, and then probably a nice pretty view. So this is what the room looks like. And then there's this, which I'm gonna find out how to turn on that light. This is what the bathroom looks like. There's like a bathtub, a shower, toilet, you know, the whole nine yards. That's what it looks like. This is so nice though. Isn't this really nice? I have that same microwave. Well, I had <laughs> it. My, my house is burnt down. Oh, stop. That's horrible. And then there's this back here. But uh, prayers for Danny, you guys, because I'm going to be posting this vlog like as soon as I can. And that means that I'm probably going to just edit it and post it as like a upload. But unedited raw footage yeah but seriously guys i'm gonna like take some breaths and then maybe sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about this experience and then yeah it's, it's, facing, down. it's, facing, down. it's facing down but my house is right there a few a while before it reaches here but exactly but a few minutes, it could be there. Yeah. A few minutes, it could be in my house. Trees and houses that were lit up on fire. Not a lot of activity out here as far as like lights and homes or any of that under mandatory evacuation. This zone, so it seems like a lot of the houses, a lot of the owners of the houses, did leave the area and heed the warning. All right, guys. So I'm currently sitting in the hotel room. This is going to be the end of the vlog. If you guys want to see an entire experience, story time, kind of like explaining the entire situation because I le left out a lot of parts in the vlog because I wasn't vlogging all of it. Like I was going through a lot of stuff like mentally and vlogging was helping me distract from the situation because my house did burn down a long time ago when I was younger and like that was a really traumatic experience for me personally and so having to see other people go through this and then going through it in a different way on my own here has really brought back a lot of memories and like the way that I feel and like the smells that I smell when my house burnt down because like fire smells the same way and um, just like seeing people distraught and stuff so the main thing for me is that I really want to keep you guys in the loop with my life I post everything on here and I think this is really important to post about and um, if you guys are new to my channel hey my name is Sydney I'm sorry this is how you guys are first getting to know me but if you guys like my content this is definitely like a very raw choppy vlog because I'm just putting it out there I edited it within like 20 minutes and um, I'm gonna upload it now because I just want to get it out there but if you guys want me to do a sit down talking video about it uh, you can comment that down below but please pray for Danny and you know everyone that's affected by this because you know we don't know how long we're gonna be here in this hotel room I'll keep you guys in the loop but like honestly I have no idea what's gonna happen so with that being said I love you guys so much and this was my experience with the California fires if you guys don't follow me on social media please do my snapchat and my Instagram are gonna have like tons of updates because I will be here for seven more days and then um, after that you know like yeah anyways I just if you guys want to see a s experience video on like the entire situation I will wait two more days before I even think about filming it because I want to see like what happens with um, this area and like just Katie's family and Danny and his family and um, people that are my friends you know that live here <clears throat> so with that being said I'm just gonna end the vlog here um, it is currently 1 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you guys. Love you guys.